Hello, 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 and welcome, welcome to my inspirational Ingrid channel. How is everyone? I hope you're all doing well. Anyway, let's get right into it. So, today's video or session, should I say, is actually called This Present House. This Present House. And as you know, um, all my sessions and videos actually talk about scripture. So the reason why it's called This Present House, I actually posted something. I think it was around on Wednesday. And it actually comes from Haggai um, chapter 2 and it's verses 8 to 9. So let me read it to you and then we can start to discuss. It says... The silver is mine and the gold is mine, declares the Lord Almighty. The glory of this present house will be greater than the glory of the former house, says the Lord Almighty. And in this place, I will grant peace, declares the Lord Almighty. I'm actually reading this from the NIV version. Um, some of the other versions actually say um, this present house um, or, you know, is, is, is greater than the latter house instead of the former. And so be it. So the present, what does present mean? Present actually means now, doesn't it? This present time, this, this time, right this minute, right this second. Yeah, it can actually mean... Um, you know, it can actually mean later as well or in the future, yeah? And the former actually means something that's happened in the past, yeah? In the past. So I was actually thinking more of like time travel, even though this has got nothing to do with time travel. But I just think, I don't know if any of you remember the film, it actually probably shows my age as well, um, Back to the Future, yeah? Yeah? They could actually travel back in time. They can actually travel right into the future, yeah? And they could actually travel back again to the present day. But what God is saying here, he's saying basically, I can do anything. Anything is possible for me. I created everything in the heavens and in the earth. So everything belongs to me. And everything that I have created is good. Because if you go back to Genesis and it tells you everything that God created, he said, and it was good. Within those six days, God created so many things. And every time he finished, he looked at it and said, and it is good. So he's telling us here that everything belongs to him. Yeah, he created anything and there's nothing that is impossible for our God our Lord Almighty. He says the silver belongs to him. He says the gold belongs to him. And therefore, he's actually declaring something now, yeah? He's actually declaring that this present house, right, will be so much greater and the glory than the former house. Mm-hmm. And basically, he's also saying that the place will be granted with peace. Yeah. So I remember if I did a video, I think it was last year. It's actually called The Lord is Here. And I was talking about the reason why the Lord is here. Because the Lord says that he's with us wherever we, wherever we go. You know, God is Emmanuel. So wherever we are, God is with us. And so I was saying, if God is here, if God is in this place, then, you know, this place is good, right? So wherever God places you, because he's ordained it, it is good. But what God is declaring here in this section, in this scripture, yeah, whether it is a house, whether it is... Um, um, the time that we are in, the season that we are in, whatever it is that God is telling us here, 
He's saying that this present house or this present time or this present season that we are in, all right, it will be much greater than the glory of the former house or the former time or the former season that we've been in. And that's why this scripture really hit me this week, because sometimes we don't have hope. But right here, you can see in Haggai chapter two, verses eight to nine, the Lord Almighty is declaring hope. And it's not even about a house. I'm actually thinking about the hope and glory of when we get to heaven and what that will look like. I mean, we know that is going to look like amazing. It's going to be out of this world, something that we couldn't even think or even dare imagine. And whatever it's going to be, it's going to be good because God created it. And whatever God creates is good. God created you and me. That means we are good. We have been created in the image of God. So it is good. And the only reason why badness or evil comes in is because sometimes it's what we choose. Or sometimes mm -hmm, the devil is there, you know, roaming around like he does to sort of capture or get us off guard, yeah, with temptation and things like that. But like I said, God created us and it was good. But there in Haggai, I want you to go back and read it for yourself. What is God revealing to you that this present house or this present time or this present season, yeah, will be far greater than the glory of the former house, the former time or the former season? The glory will be far greater. So if you've been feeling a bit down, yeah, start feeling good again. Start getting yourself together. Yeah. You know what I mean? Start actually just looking forward. Get your vision boards out. Start writing your goals again. Yeah. Get your gratitude book out. Start thanking God for everything that he's done so far. Because that will be former, all the things that God has done and blessed you with in the past is the past. Let us now look to the future, yeah? The former was good, okay? But this present time, this present house and this present season is going to be far greater. So if you think you've had it good, just wait and see, yeah? Yeah? Because God turns things around all the time. God is a God of restoration and he loves his children so much. He wants to see them happy. He wants to see them glad. He wants to see them shout for glory, um, shout for joy and praise his holy name. This is who our God is. Yes, bad things happen. But things only happen for a season. It does not last. Yeah? Weeping may endure for a night, but joy certainly comes in the morning. So family, do not be disheartened. Whatever you're going through, whatever situation, yeah, is trying to drag you down. Yeah? Get your faith back. Yeah? Get your hope back. Because what God has in store for you is far more greater than whatever you've had in the past. Your future is looking very, very good right now. Yeah? But walk in obedience with him. Let him lead you. You follow him wherever he's taking you. Because wherever he's taking you, you will have all the glory and you will have the victory. Yeah? But all the praises will go back to God, your father. Because it was him 
that have ordered your steps. It is him that has prepared you for whatever is next. So, my family, start praising for the present house. Start praising for the present time and start praising for the present season. Amen. So this is all I have for you today. Um, I've really enjoyed this one. Um, I usually do enjoy them, as you know. But yeah, this one, it really, really did actually give me a lot of hope. And I hope it gives you guys a lot of hope too. So keep looking forward and keep looking up too. So as I always say, you are a child of God. You are unique, you are special and you are chosen. And you are very much loved by your Father in heaven. So may God continue to lead, guide and protect you. May God bless you and just make his face shine upon you and give you perfect peace. Because don't forget, at the end of this scripture, it also tells you that this present house, this present time and this present season where God will take you, that is far greater will also be a place of peace. So stay in peace, family, until next time. But please don't forget to also like, share and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, okay? I'll be back with another peace for you. Take care of yourselves. Have a blessed week ahead. In Jesus' mighty name. Bye.